In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The glory of God. Let us join in singing. Him there shall be showers of blessing. God is spirit and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. The glory of God, let us raise and sing him. Praise to the Lord, the Almighty, the King of creation. Oh, Lord, 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 Lord,
Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let the sea roar and all that fills it. Let the fields exult and everything in it. Then shall the trees of the wood sing for joy before the Lord. For he comes to judge the world with righteousness and the people with his truth. The work of God surrounds us. We respond with praise. The love of God is visible, we respond in faith. The word of God is calling, we respond in hope. The wind of the Spirit is blowing, we respond with joy. O God, our Creator, Redeemer and Comforter, come to us and be among us. Come as the wind to inspire us. Come as the fire to cleanse us. Come as the dew to refresh us. O come true in God, unite us, your people, people from different tradition, culture, families, ethnic groups, and heritages, experiences, and teachings. Come, O Triune God, unite us, your people, the differently abled, the Dalits, the marginalized, women, men, children, youth, farmers, and elderly. Come, O Triune God, unite us, your people, that we might together design your will and respond to your call to be the church today. Amen. Please be seated. Let us confess our sins. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. The truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, God who is faithful and just will forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness in humility and faith. Let us confess our sins to God. Merciful God, we confess that we forget the purpose of being created in your image to make shalom, peace on the earth, in our respective places and in our responsibilities. Forgive us, O Lord. Gracious God, we confess that we are often peace breakers instead of peacemakers among our fellow human beings and among our brothers and sisters in our families, in our church and in society. Forgive us, O Lord. Savior God, we confess that many times we do not live together in unity. We have discriminated ourselves from others in many ways in the name of race, gender, color, creed and caste and profession. We forget that you came to this world to establish just an egalitarian society. Instead, we became the destroyers of peace, love, and justice. Let us say the prayer together. Together, we ask your forgiveness and mercy. Fill us with your grace and enable us to experience your forgiveness. Amen. <laughs> Let me hide myself in me. 
thick rain falling gently on past earth the wind blowing through a still forest like a river flowing through a barren desert god has poured out mercy love and compassion on us all let us be assured that the almighty god has granted us forgiveness for all of our sins and has gifted us the companionship of the holy spirit on this day the lord has acted we will rejoice and be glad in it amen let us follow the thanksgiving prayers come let us praise god joyfully let us come to the lord with thanksgiving for the good world beautiful and awesome for seen and unseen plans splendors we thank you lord for human life for all the joys hardships and hope shared for the inspiration challenges and encouragement it brings we thank you lord for our families for the sacredness of love shared for the mutual forgiveness and burden shared we thank you lord for our children for their energy curiosity and frankness for the young for their aspiration and search for knowledge and freedom for the aged for their wisdom and maturity we thank you lord for our health and preservation for our work and satisfaction for our friends with whom we talk think and move together for our help in times of need especially we remember the last year doubts and the sorrow bringing healing and wholeness we thank you lord for the church into which we have been called for the good news we received by word and sacraments for our life together in the lord for the mission which has been entrusted to us we thank you lord we'll say the prayer together god the author of all families from whom every family in heaven and earth receives its true name grant us and our families the wisdom to decide to serve you alone so that we would remain as members of the household of your son jesus christ who lives and reigns with you the holy spirit one god now and forevermore amen please be seated now we will listen to the readings from the old testament book of joshua chapter 24 verses 14 to 22 The first reading is taken from the book of Joshua chapter 24 verses 14 to 22 Now fear the Lord and serve him with all faithfulness throw away the gods your ancestors worship beyond the Euphrates river and in Egypt and serve the Lord but if serving the Lord seems undesirable to you then choose for yourselves this day who you will serve whether the gods your ancestors served beyond the euphrates or the gods of the amorites in whose land you are living but as for me and my household we will serve the lord then the people answered far be it from us to forsake the lord to serve other gods it was the lord our god himself who brought us and our parents up out of egypt from that land of slavery and performed those great signs before our eyes he protected us on our entire journey and among all the nations through which we traveled and the lord drove out before us all the nations including the amorites who lived in the land we too will serve the lord because he is our god joshua said to the people you are not able to serve the lord he is a holy god he is a jealous god He will not forgive your rebellion and your sins. If you forsake the Lord and serve foreign gods, he will turn and bring disaster on you and make an end of you after he has been good to you. But the people said to Joshua, "No, we will serve the Lord." Then Joshua said, "You are witnesses against yourselves that you have chosen to serve the Lord." "Yes, we are witnesses," they replied. "Your reading, praise be to God." Praise be to the O Christ. Glory of God let us sing the hymn love divine all our excellence Fix 
second reading Paul's letter to Ephesians chapter 3 verses from 14 to 21 The second reading for the Sabbath day is taken from Ephesians chapter 3 verses from 14 to 21 Ephesians chapter 3 verses from 14 to 21 For this reason I fall on my knees before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth receives its true name. I ask God from the wealth of his glory to give you power through his Spirit to be strong in your inner selves, and I pray that Christ will make his home in your hearts through faith. I pray that you may have your roots and foundation in love, so that you together with all God's people may have the power to understand how broad and long, how high and deep is Christ's love. Yes, may you come to know his love, although it can never be fully known, and so be completely filled with the very nature of God. To, to him who by means of his power working in us is able to do so much more than we can ever ask for or even think of. To God be the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus for all the time, forever and ever. Amen. Here ends the reading. Praise be to God. Praise be to the O Christ. Glory of God. Let us sing the hymn, He Leadeth Me, O Blessed Thought. Whatever I do, where 
reading gospel according to St. Mark chapter 3 verses from 31 to 31. Let us stand for the gospel reading. Today's gospel reading is taken from gospel according to St. Mark chapter 3 verses 31 to 35. Then Jesus, mother and brothers arrived. They stood outside the house and sent in a message asking for him. A crowd was sitting around Jesus and they said to him, Look, your mother and your brothers and sisters are outside and they want you. Jesus answered, Who is my mother? Who are my brothers? He looked at the people sitting around him and said, Look, here are my mother and my brothers. Whoever does what God wants him to do is my brother, my sister, and my mother. Here ends the reading. Praise be to Praise be to thee, O Christ. Please be seated. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we are in the last week of the whole year. This year was not a good year for many of us, but God wants us to be more spiritual and also more close to God than ever before. So history has proved that all our human endeavors totally failed. And uh, here we celebrate family. God is the head of the family. And Jesus is head of our families as son of God. If you read the Christmas narrations, there are two genealogy referred in Matthew and also in Luke. This refers to a great family of God. The first one refers to Abraham to Jesus Christ, Mary, Joseph, they belong to Israel, a family of Jews, the traditions, that is one narration. The other narration belongs to Adam to Christ, Adam to Christ, that include Joseph and Mary. These two narrations calls for unity of our immediate family and also family at large, a global family family, the whole world is our family. So, there is no other religion which talks about so openly about this great family of human world. Therefore, today we need to learn a lesson that in this last year, if you are away from the family, let us go back to the family spiritually. 
through our modern gadgets or whatever we have and also reconnect our family to our own immediate family and also family of God, the global family and everybody is the family members in this world. Therefore, let us meditate upon this great theme called family. The preparation we will sing, Master speak, thy servant heareth. families and by whose name the whole world is called of father we come to thee this morning that we will experience you as our father afresh we pray O oh God that you would put your finger on the hearts of every member of your family this morning that we will know you and the power of your resurrection we pray this prayer in the name of Jesus Jesus. Amen and amen. I welcome the family of God this morning to listen to this morning sermon, Family as a Gift of God. I thank the opportunity the Lord has given me to serve in your midst, the online family, and uh, thanks the pastor, the committee for inviting me here to be joining along with this family. Family is a gift from God. Family is the most universal and fundamental social institution as we can ever uh, find. It was not the idea of man or human being to start a family, but it was the creation of the creator of this universe so that a family is formed as a an unit and they serve the Lord together. And it is for this reason, because it is in the plan of God that the enemy, the devil, is against the families that we are in, be it our spiritual family or our physical family. The enemy is always against our families. Because Jesus said, I have come that you will have life and life in abundance, but the enemy comes to steal, to kill and to destroy. And in these times when the families are in the process of change due to various circumstances and situations and technologies, the, the foundations of the cultures are being changed right now. At this point of time, what is it that the word of God gives it as a meaning to us is something that we can look upon this morning. God uses the family to reveal himself to the human beings. God allows us to experience human relationships like father, like mother, brother, a friend, a spouse. And God tells, I relate to you in this manner. And God is all in all. He relates to us as a father, as a mother, as a brother, as a sister. And we see this in the entire scriptures that God reveals to human beings as various relationships. 
we as human beings unless we have experienced these kinds of relationships in our lives we will never ever be able to understand the relationship with god and that's the reason why god instituted families so that we are blessed god unites people who are single we see that in psalm 68 verse 6 god lets the solitary to form families god chooses us as families to reveal himself by the way no human being in this world ever had a choice to which family he or she should be born i was not asked no one else in this ray in this human race was ever asked which family would you like to be born we were put in a family by the divine orchestration of the almighty god in which god wanted to use that family for us to reveal himself to this whole nation god never chose a religion or a community or a some special set of people to reveal himself but he chose a family this is something that is so wonderfully written in the scripture god chose a family and he wanted to reveal himself to the world we look at the call of abraham we look at the way god chose god created adam and he wanted to reveal himself adam failed so on and so forth and then it was noah then it was all of them but we see god chose abraham and he said i called you i will make you a blessing so that you become a blessing and god foreknew the choices of abraham and he said i know that abraham will choose to teach his children my ways that is the reason why god chose abraham my brother my sister this morning if we need to be blessed by god god needs to know it through his foreknowledge that we will continue to follow his word we see that in the call of abraham in genesis chapter 8 that in our that he will command his children and his household after him that they will keep the ways of the lord my brothers my sisters if we have to know god we have to keep the ways of god we see that in uh, uh, in the psalms chapter 27 127 one that was supposed to be we read this morning as per our almanac this psalms are called as the psalms the traveler psalms when those people used to travel to jerusalem to come and worship god they used to sing these songs as they traveled from wherever they are as they traveled to jerusalem and one of the psalm it starts from psalm 120 onwards one of the psalm is psalm 127 it it reads it starts like this except the lord builds the house the labor is in vain who build it except the lord builds the house my brother my sister is god building your house how will god really build a house jesus himself said in matthew chapter 7 verses 24 when he was speaking the sermon on the mount as we all call it as and he said except a man who ever listens to my words and does them he will be like that wise man who will build his house on the rock have we built our house on the rock of the word of god if we have not built our house our lives our families it is in vain the word of god says if we have built our house on something else that is on a sand it is in vain and when the winds come and the rains come it is inevitable the winds and the rains will come whether it you, you are a child of god or a person who is away from the family of god the rains and the storms will come in your life but will your will you be crushed and sunk in that or will you sail through through god almighty is a question that you and me we need to ask ourselves this morning as we have come to the last day of this year what is why is it so important for us that family why is it so important to us if we look at the same psalm 127 it says our children are a heritage from the lord the fruit of the womb is his reward 
children are the heritage of the lord it is not ours it is god's our children whom god has given to us they we do not own them we are caretakers of god's property we are caretakers of god's property children are the heritage of god it is they our children are god's heritage number 1 secondly the fruit of our of the womb is the reward of god our children are the reward from god the next thing that we see in that very same scripture children are like arrows in the hand of a warrior very strange children are like weapons weapons of mass destruction can you just imagine what does this really means this children whom are built in our house on the secure word of god are those weapons of mass destruction who go out from the world from our house into the world into the community and they go out as arrows of god and they build the house of god they build and show god in this community that is the reason why god has put you and me to nurture the family family especially our children in the ways of god are our children being nurtured in the ways of god is a question that we are to take in serious con consideration we spend so so much of our time and investment to look into what our people our children are studying how much is their course how much uh, money we do spend on their education nothing wrong about it do we invest the same amount of interest in teaching them the word of god and i and we know the word of god is taught not just by reading and by uh, singing or bringing them to church or putting them in sunday school the children need to see the word of god practiced in the lives of us as a family and that is when they will practice it my brothers my sisters this morning let us check ourselves how are we training these arrows are those arrows fully burnished and ready to use to go into the world or are they rusted and rotten in our houses my brother my sisters all of that we receive in our lives are as a loan from the almighty god be it our spouses our children our jobs our um, bank balance our relationships and our friends and everything that we possess in our lives come to us as a loan from the almighty god and there comes a time when he will take an account of what we have done we see that in the jesus himself told the parables of talents he said god the the person who was traveling he gave talents to various people in various measures and there came a time when he came and took account of what was happening with those talents many of us are sure we have taken loans from the banks when we approach the bank we are the bank will tell what for do you want the loan we would say we want it for a vehicle or for a, a, a house or something uh, we need to take it for a very specific person purpose and we take it and use that only for that purpose in case if we are using it for something else the bank will come and confiscate everything that we have why not the almighty god who has given all things to us as a loan when he sees to us if you and me have not used the loan which god has given to us in the measure and in the way that god wanted it to be used as written in the word of god families needs to be cherished families needs to be upheld families needs to be held in high esteem when the world around nowadays comes and tells family and marriage has come to an end marriage has no meaning marriage has no relationship the institution of marriage has failed is what what the world teaches us but god is the one who ordained it and it needs to be upheld if our families are strong our societies will be strong if our societies are strong our countries will be strong if our strong country is strong our economy is will be strong this is exactly what the lord told those people when he brought them out of the land of egypt and they were in they were about to go into the promised land and on the day uh, moses on the day of moses's death he starts in the morning and starts speaking to them the whole book of deuteronomy he is a send off message that he is telling to 
them if you choose to follow me if you choose to observe all that is written according to the word of the lord you will be the most prosperous nation in the world many a times we forsake the word of god and that is what joshua comes up and says and this is what we have read this morning joshua comes and says as for me and my house we will serve the lord when we say serve the lord it is a verb it is an action it is not a noun it is not something that is to be parked in our in our uh, showcases but it is something that we serve the lord in a daily fashion that we live and demonstrate and show the word of god it is god who brought us till now so many people have passed away this year due to covid and many other things uh, many have lost their lives in this world but god has preserved us this morning we are here and in the church and some of us are online are we fulfilling the purposes for which god has preserved us for this morning till this day when the israelites walked out from from egypt and on that day they walked through uh, the red sea the moment they came on the other side and they saw that the enemies were submerged in the water they started to praise the lord i will sing unto the lord the horse and the rider has fell into the sea for some trust in chariots some in horses but i'll remember the name of the lord our god it is god who causes me to triumph it is god who, through him i will scale up a wall and through him he leads me into victory Jesus defines the family as something different so radically different from what it used to be in the culture of the Jews and what we have been used to we just now read in the Matthew Mark's gospel chapter 3 when Jesus was preaching on that day and uh, he, he was in a house probably and when he was speaking his mother and brother came and his sisters also and there was someone who sent word to jesus and he said jesus your mother and brothers are here they are they want to meet you and what is that what jesus was telling here are those people who are listening to the word of god and following them following the word of mine they are my mother they are my family it is a totally new definition which jesus wanted it which god almighty wanted it to be in the garden of eden and jesus was rephrasing it on that day was jesus uh, despising his family was jesus disrespectful of his mother and his own family no certainly not but jesus said from now onwards those who fam- follow the word of god they are my family when jesus was i dying on the cross of calvary when he looks at his mother and he commits him to john jesus and his mother and his brother and his sisters came to see him he had totally five siblings and when we see instead of when jesus was dying on the cross he should have told his younger brother to take care of him but however jesus did not commit his mother to his younger brother but he committed his mother mary to his beloved disciple john who was the one who was willing to do the word of god and live according to him and he was the one who recognized jesus as his messiah the the brothers and sisters of jesus never recognized jesus to be the messiah it was only after the death burial and resurrection of jesus his brother james recognized his brother we know that he writes the book of james at the end of the new testament do we have the god's family the church as our family the one who follow the word of god as our family is something that we need to know and we need to prioritize on following the lord lastly ephesians chapter 3 we just read that we have been named by this god 
and it is his name we all know we have a names of our family we have a surname of our family but here is a surname that god is giving to us and we see this in the book of revelation everyone who followed him who came to heaven they have a new name that new name is no more a sinner but it is called as a saint everyone who accepts the lord jesus christ as a savior he becomes his child of god john's gospel chapter 1 he says all those who believed in the lord jesus Christ to them gave he the power to become the children of God. When we see the call of Abraham, Abraham was initially called Abraham and he was changed, his name was changed as Abraham. We see that Jacob was his original name and when he had an encounter with the Almighty God, God changed his name to Israel. We see that Paul was called Shaul and he was, when he had an encounter with the Almighty God, they say that his name was changed to Paul. God calls you and me. The moment we decide to follow him, he changes us. He changes our hearts from within and he gives us a new name, a name to follow, a new name that we can be proud of. A name that ties us to the family of God. This morning, my brother, <clears throat> my sister, and those who are watching online, if you have gone away from the family of God, if you are away from the relationship of the Lord, with the Lord Jesus Christ, or with the relationship with the church, today is the day of correction. Today is the day where you can take a course correction and come back to him and say, Lord, here am I, please come and restore me. And here might be some of you who are praying for your children who are wayward, who have gone away from from the word of God, from the church of God, and from following the ways of God, in case if you are praying for such a person. Today is the day that you can encourage yourself in the Lord, because God promises in the book of Isaiah chapter 49 verse 25, in wherever the bondages they are there, I am the God who is going to bring them, bring your children out of bondage. If you are praying for a wayward son, a, a wayward daughter, a relationship that is broken in the family here is an opportunity hold on to the promises of God God said believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and thou will be saved and your household and this promises are yes and the amen is spoken by us through Jesus Christ our Lord my brother my sister today is a day as we have come to the last day of this year a time to take stock of the way things have happened Many have lost their lives, but we have been preserved. Thank God for his goodness towards us. But he has preserved us for a purpose. Is that purpose being solved and being resolved in our lives? If not, we need to take a course correction. In case if you are away from the family of God, today is the day that you can come back and get united with the family of God. In case if your child is away from the family of God, today hold on to the promises of God. For God, in whose name we have been called, he wants to reveal himself through families. Today, we offer, let's offer ourselves and our families to serve the Lord. Those people, when they came out of Israel, God gave them the commandments and he said this, the fifth commandment of the Sabbath day, observed to do. On that Sabbath day, they used to sit as a family and worship the Lord and spend time meditating and reading and spending time as a family and also with the Lord. This is something that we, as a family, we need to be doing. Not that we need, we need to be doing our everyday prayers. But if you can set up our times for God, as a family, you will see that demonstrated in your lives. Let's offer ourselves this morning to him and commit ourselves and our families to be instruments of God in this world. Let's look to him in prayer. Dear God, our Father, what a privilege it is to be at your feet, Lord, and to know you and to love you and to serve you and to follow you. God, we thank you for you are the God of the families. You are the one who fights for our families. You are the one who demonstrates yourself through our families. We thank you for your love towards us, Lord. We commit ourselves to the family of God, to serve you, to be an arm of you in this world, to be yours for this, for your glory. We pray for those children who have gone away from you, God, that they will come close to you. We give you the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen.
We love him of faith in Nicene Creed. Let us stand and love him of faith. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, the Maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God. Begotten, not made, a one being with Father, through Him all things were made for us and for our salvation, came down from heaven, the power of the Holy Spirit, He became incarnate from the Virgin Mary, became truly human. For our sake, He was crucified and a Pontius Pilate, suffered death, was buried, and third day He rose again in accordance with the scriptures, sent into the heaven and seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, Lord, the giver of life, proceeded from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, as spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sin. We look for the resurrection of the dead, the life to come. Amen. Please be seated. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I thank Brother Christ Christopher, Praveen Christopher, for accepting our invitation for this family Sunday. Brother Praveen Christopher, he works for Axe Institute, Sachs, Sachs Institute, and uh, he is in charge of uh, human relationship and communication. So. Uh, you must have seen his uh, communication skills. He's a very powerful speaker and very honest and committed to God's word. And uh, he belongs to uh, Yalahanka CSI Christopher Balaya Church. He's a member there. And I know the family from a uh, long time. And uh, 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 he is committed. Later on, I came to know that he, he was in ministry. And he's not new to our congregation. He's, uh, he has come earlier. And he's also a resource person for many uh, pastors and also for many uh, preachers who are taking training in Karnataka Central Diocese. On behalf of Pastorate Committee and all of you and all the viewers, I thank Brother Praveen Christopher for coming here and accepting our invitation and sharing God's word. Thank you, Brother. Thank you very much. I request you to follow the orders government recently passed for this uh, pandemic and uh, please cooperate with such uh, instruction to attend our church services and we are extremely cautious about uh, whatever comes in the future and uh, we don't want to compromise on that because it is uh, it is going to be a trouble and uh, especially the public worship worship services need to be extra uh, we need to be extra careful in in attending such services so our covenant service and uh, year end service will be on 31st uh, in December that is evening worship we also arrange covenant worship service in the morning and uh, we put the slot according to uh, the participants and the space available within our congregation within the church therefore i request members to please uh, note that our evening worship service will be there on 31st december and also covenant service on first January morning services that will be uh, from uh, in the morning please register your uh, names through phone calls and also our evening service on uh, 30th also we have uh, uh, the last date for giving your names is 30th December evening 8 p.m. Please uh, remember this and uh, follow the instructions. Let us pray for our families. As I told earlier, 
without god there is no family and without families we cannot even imagine christmas christmas is jesus coming first to the family entering into this world through a family therefore family is most blessed according to jesus instructions let us pray god our heavenly father we thank you and praise you for the way you led us throughout this years especially the last year with all the problems we faced your presence was always there lord you are the father mother who took care of us spiritually and also with our worldly providence and we also call you mother and father for your glorious protection and also your support as families once again lord we commit all the members into your mighty hand our parents four parents and also children in the coming generation in this hour of prayer lord we also remember those who are celebrating their family anniversaries especially bless them abundantly and also we remember those celebrating their birthdays this week you grant them your mercies and blessings so that they will realize your concern continued guidance and protection as family members once again lord we commit all of us into your mighty hand bless and keep us under your guidance in jesus name we pray amen let us say lord's prayer together our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread for you those trespasses against us lead us not into temptation deliver us from evil thine is the kingdom power and the glory forever and ever amen our closing means be not dismayed whatever be tied
the God of love who shared his love strengthen us in our love for others. May the Son who shared his life grant us grace that we may share our life. And may the Holy Spirit indwelling us empower us to be only and always for others. Thank mm -hmm. you.